Renting a car in Thailand. Today's video has been broken down into three sections. First, we'll be looking at the regulations and important information. Next, we will look at the process of renting a car in Thailand. And finally, some extra tips to help you along the way. So let's take a look at some regulations and important information. Drivers must be at least 21 years of age. Some rental companies request drivers to be 23 or 25 and do charge an additional fee if the renter is under a particular age. On top of this, some ask for a specific category on a driving license, however this is much rarer. Most companies require three main forms of documentation. This includes a renter's passport, an international driving license and a credit card. A credit card is often mandatory to rent a car in Thailand. It is possible to add an additional driver onto your rental agreement. Some companies allow you to do this for free while others will charge a small fee per day. Some forms of insurance and protection are optional but others are mandatory under Thai law. Renting a car in Thailand will involve paying a deposit and rental price in advance. The value of the vehicle will impact the deposit, rental and insurance costs that a renter will need to pay. So let's move on to the next section of how to rent a car in Thailand. The first step is to choose an online rental company such as Avis, ThaiRentCar.com or Kayak.com. There are many international and local car rental companies all across Thailand. Alternatively, you could go to the rental company directly. There are many that are located around the airports and city centers. Once you have found a car and explained what you are looking for, a staff member will confirm your details and bring you the rental agreement to sign. Most small cars range between the price of 1000 and 2,000 Thai bar a day. But due to the ongoing pandemic, some rental companies have lowered the overall price. Once you have finished your rental period, you can drop off your vehicle and receive your deposit. Before releasing the deposit, a staff member will inspect the vehicle and do their internal check. In addition, some companies do allow renters to drop off the car at a different location. And here are some extra tips for renting a car in Thailand. Most cars run on either diesel, gasoline 91 or gasoline 95. Overall, the gasoline prices are relatively low across Thailand but are much higher in tourist areas. It's often recommended obtaining full coverage and insurance when renting a vehicle in Thailand. This includes theft coverage coverage, breakdown assistance, etc. From reading through the small print of most rental companies, it seems that if there's no insurance and a collision occurs, the renter will be responsible for the damage. This usually includes paying an upfront fee of 10 to 15,000 Thai bar. It's recommended to always take detailed photos and videos of any damage inside or outside of the vehicle before renting. Thailand's roads over the years have been documented as being unsafe. For example, a few years ago, Thailand was titled with the highest road death rate in the world. In addition, street dogs are common in Thailand, and it's normal for dogs to run across the road, especially in smaller neighborhoods. So it's recommended to be extra vigilant on the Thai roads. And lastly, you may also be able to obtain a discount if you rent in advance, but this will depend on the rental company. 